Last time on Agrave Island, the contestants competed in a mini golf challenge. Each contestant competed against another from opposing teams at one hole. Crystal and Jillian started an argument and Crystal got eliminated because of her thinking that Jillian made the challenge too difficult, even though it wasn't Jillian who did this. Today's challenge will take place on the mountains again, but this time, it's going downhill from the mountains. What challenge will that be? Find out on Agrave Island. Oh yes. I can't believe they think I didn't rig the challenge, but I actually did thanks to this book. I made Crystal's ball heavier so it makes it harder to shoot for the hole. And now that I caused Crystal's elimination, I wonder which contestant should I make to go home next. Jillian, are you in there? Oh no, I gotta hide this book. Hello, what do you want? I wanted to check that if you are actually responsible for Crystal's elimination. I didn't cause Crystal's elimination. It's just that she is in a bad mood and not a good golf player. Really? Then why did I hear you saying you caused Crystal's elimination? It's just your imagination. I am not doing anything to other contestants. Okay, but I will be watching you during the next challenge. Why would you do that? There is no need to watch me. I'm perfectly fine. Fine. I'm still suspicious because of you. Maybe I should cause her elimination next. Can you believe it? I overheard that Jillian is the one who caused Crystal's elimination. She would do no such thing. I talked to Jillian last night and she didn't do anything. She would always said that to other people. But when she is alone, I was outside her bedroom door listening to her, and she said that not one of us knew she was responsible. Really? She would actually do that? Now that I think of this, I am beginning to think that Jillian being suspicious and sneaky. Let's just hope Jillian gets eliminated very soon. I sure do too. Let's all keep an eye on Jillian for today's challenge. Okay, okay everyone. everyone. Let's, Let's meet, meet at, the at the top, top of the, the mountains, mountains for, for your, your next, next challenge. challenge. It's about time for the challenge. Let's go. Okay teams. Today you will be competing in a skiing challenge. Three members from each team will be skiing downhill. I will be timing each team member. The team with the fastest combined time will win the challenge. You will have five minutes to choose your three team members to ski downhill. Since Don wants three members to ski, one of us can set out at this challenge. Who should sit out? Well, I have been skiing for many years, so I think I can do this challenge. Okay, we need two more. Who's interested in skiing? Well, I have been taking skiing lessons since I was a child. I think I can do the skiing challenge. And I have been taking skiing lessons too. Well, I have never gone skiing before, and since you guys know how to ski, I think I should sit out on this challenge. Sound like a good idea. And I just hope Jillian is not up to something. Don't worry about Jillian. Let's focus on this challenge. Okay, who is great at skiing? Well, I can only snowboard, but I never ski. Jillian, are you sure? I hear that you are sounding suspicious. Is this true that you never ski before? Yes. I only know how to snowboard. Let's get this over with. Who's going to ski downhill? Well, I'm not good at skiing. I fall every time, so I can sit out. Okay, that means we only need one more who can sit out. Well, I'm not going. I really can't ski. Well, if you said so, Jillian. Then let's do this challenge. All right. It's now time to start the skiing challenge. First we have Joseph. When I say go, the clock will start. Are you ready Joseph? 
I sure am. Okay. Go. And that's 40 seconds for Joseph. Next we have Brian. Can Brian beat Joseph's time? It looks like Brian took 48 seconds in this run. So far the red team is in the lead. Let's see if Cecilia can go faster. And that's 52 seconds for Cecilia. Let's see if Logan can beat it. Wow, that's an amazing run Logan. And he nailed it in 43 seconds. We now have Carly and Rosie left. Who will go fast enough to win for their team? Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Well, since Carly fell during her run, this will cause her a 30 second penalty. It looks like Carly took 93 seconds in this run. Since she had a 30 second penalty, that brings her time to 123 seconds. Will Rosie be able to go fast enough to beat the red team? Rosie may have taken 114 seconds in the run, but she sure did beat Carly's time. With the blue team with a combined total of 3 minutes and 25 seconds and the red team with 3 minutes and 35 seconds, the blue team wins today's challenge. Don't say I had to sit out on purpose. Our team won anyway. Okay, but did you cause Carly to fall down during your run? What? Don't be silly. How could I cause someone to fall during the run? People fall down at skiing all the time. It happens. That's true. I don't think you did anything to ruin the challenge then. But it does mean that you won't be eliminated tonight since we won. I knew it. Jillian must be up to something that caused us to lose the challenge. But it wasn't my fault, and I fell on accident. I know that Jillian wasn't responsible for my fall. What is going on? I heard that you two are talking about Jillian. Well, a few days ago, I found out that Jillian is taking advantage of the challenges so that she can win the money for herself. Really? What an aggressive player. I used to feel this way, but now I'm going against people who take the advantage. I'm going to talk to her. Hello Jillian. What I heard from my teammates is that you are trying to take advantage of this competition. Is this true? Well, I did not take advantage of today's challenge. And others think that I took advantage of yesterday's challenge and caused Crystal the elimination, but I really did not. But are you really doing that? Well, I sure believe Jillian did. Cecilia told me this morning that she was using the book to cause Crystal's elimination. I don't know what advantage she had, but I know that she is responsible. Why does everyone keep saying this? I told you many times, I did not do it. Well, Don tracks down every move on this island. If it catches you that you have the advantage, then you are in big trouble. I'm sure that I did not take advantage of any challenge. You're probably making up stories. That's what you think. You know that Don is watching. Well, I'm watching alright. But based on my observations, Jillian is not doing anything to take advantage of the competition. Yet. I just wanted Jillian to stay longer so this can get more intense, and I know everyone wants an intense show. Well, it seems like it's about time to start the elimination for tonight. Okay, when I call out your name, it means you are safe. The contestants who are safe are... Cody. Cecilia. Carly and Joseph. One of you will move on, while the other will go home. Carly, you are such a strong competitor, but your downfall is where you fell during your run at the skiing challenge. Joseph, I saw that you worked hard in this challenge, but you recently have been involved in an argument with Jillian about her taking advantage in the competition. 
I know that the contestants are starting to feel suspicious about Jillian's behavior, but I don't see enough proof yet to see if Jillian is actually taking the advantage. Anyways, who is going home for tonight? The contestant who is safe is... Joseph. I'm sorry Carly, unfortunately you will have to leave the island tonight. Well, that's what people get for telling me stories about Jillian. At least I'm out of this conversation. Well, talk about people who think Jillian is taking advantage. I certainly don't think she is. For now, anyways, what do you think Jillian is up to next? Find out next time on Agrave Island.